Now let's solve another problem of state theory. This is a little bit interesting and different than the previous one we deal. And previous one we had the two things. Now we have the three things to deal. Uh, let's read the question. Uh, question is here. In a group of students, 12 read mathematics, 15 read statistics, 11 read physics, and 4 read mathematics only, and 7 read statistics only, 3 read statistics and physics only, and 1 read mathematics and statistics only. And we need to find the given things here. How many read all three subjects, how many read mathematics and physics only, and how many read physics only, and how many students are all together there, all right? So before solving these types of the problem, I already told you in the previous videos also, we had only three steps, right? We have to give three points to the question and the question will be finished. The first one, write the given information properly. The second punch to the question is write the given information into the Venn diagram. And the third one is just solve and get the answer. Right? So the first punch I'm going to give to the question uh, that is writing the given all information. Here in a group of students 12 read mathematics. So uh, M is going to represent mathematics, S is going to represent statistics and P is going to represent physics. Okay? So uh, number of people who are learning physics okay number of people learning physics so uh, number of students learning mathematics students learning mathematics that is I'm going to represent by n m all right is how much we have 12 and 15 read statistics so number of students learning statistics that is going to represent by ns and that is how much 15 and 11 read physics all right so number of students same thing learning physics uh, physics is represented by p that is how much 11 and the next information is four read mathematics only only mathematics all right so only mathematics means m uh, and not m and not not means just they read mathematics and none of the other subjects all right so those are four and seven read statistics only so number of students which are learning just statistics not other subjects it's seven and similarly uh three read statistics and physics only so students who are learning uh, uh, statistics and physics only all right that's why I give here not sign uh, not sign means only uh, these two subjects here and one read mathematics and statistics only so one read mathematics and statistics only okay and now we need to give the second point to give the second point we need to write this into the yes Venn diagram so representing into the Venn diagram So to represent the Venn diagram, we have to first uh, draw a rectangle as usual, right? Everybody know this time I need to draw a little bit bigger one because we have three subjects, all right? So uh, uh, let me say this is my mathematics, all right? Um, let me say this is physics and the third one, this is our statistics all right so let's write uh, sorry it is mathematics statistics and physics and this is our review all right so let's fill up all the stuff now one by one whatever it is giving we need to start from there and I had told you already we need to start from the middle section we know the middle section we don't know now this one right P intersection M intersection S we don't know so if we don't know that then we'll be going from this or this or this all right so uh, let's start now uh, let's uh, do from here the number of students who just learn uh, math and uh, and statistics math and statistics only so we can start we can write here and one more thing like if you have only not sections then that does not matter that does not affect any time so you can write easily the wherever the not is given just write those all stuff that that's that's not the uh, problem creating things if there is not given a not an OT not I'm saying right if there is no not then you need to think first which one we have to write in the Venn diagram and which one uh, later but if there is not an OT not I'm talking about this not things then it's uh, it's uh, very easy just to go and write that that will not create any different later all right but if not then if there is no not then then you need to be sincere all right now another one is uh, we finish this and let's go for this now the students who learn statistics and physics 
just they study statistics and physics okay so statistics and physics only statistics and physics learners are how much yes there are three people okay so three students learn only statistics and physics and now another one is the students who just learn statistics is how much uh, seven all right and then now turn off mathematics four students just learn mathematics and then now total physics learner are 11 total statistics learner are 15 and total math learners are 12 now here we got one information now see the total statistics learners are how much 15 so out of the 15 we have written 7 it means 8 are left and then 3 we have finished means 5 are left and then 1 means 4 are left so here is 4 so sir here is 4 students which are learning each and every subject these 4 students learn math also learn physics also and learn statistics also because this is in every every circle it is you know in the circle of math also in the circle of physics also in the circle of science also this section is repeated so that's why uh, uh, we need to uh, we need to uh, understand that for uh, four students learn every subjects now let's go for the math now see after writing this another i got one hint now see every field is filled in mathematics but only one this one is left so i can easily now write that because I know the total number of uh, students who learn math. Total students learning math is 12. And out of the 12, I have finished 4. Alright. That is 8 left. And I have finished 4. Again, 4 left. Alright. And 1 is there. So here are 3 students. So 3 students only learn physics and mathematics. Alright. And now let's come to the physics portion. So total number of students which are learning physics is 11. So out of the 11, we have already covered this 4. So 7 is left, we have already covered 3, so 4 is left, and we have already covered another 3, so 1 is left, alright. So now see, total, how much physics learner were? 11, so 4 plus 3, 7, 7 and 1, 8, 8 and 3, 11. And how many mathematics learner were there? 12, so see, 4 plus 4, 8, 9 and 3, 12. How many uh, same uh, uh, statistics learner? Uh, 15, so 15 were there, so 7 and 1, 8, 8 and 4, 12 and 3, uh, 15, alright, so we got it. So now, whatever the question is asking, we finished the, this was our, this was our first punch, this was our second punch, and the third punch is just giving the answers and solving. If there, you may have to solve sometimes, or if not, then you just have to give the answers to the questions, alright, what's the question is now? We can see the Venn diagram give the answers. How many read all three subjects? So all three subjects learners. So first answer is uh, a number of number of students learning all subjects. Learning all three subjects. All three subjects. How much? Four. All right. And let's go to the second question. How many read mathematics and physics only? Only mathematics and physics. Math and physics only. They are talking about this section. All right. So how much are there? There are three people. So directly I'm writing number of students which are learning math and physics only. How many are there? This is the answer of second question. That is three. And the fourth question, third question is, uh, let me read. That's how many read physics only? Only students who are learning physics. Yeah, only one student. So number of students which are learning just physics is one and the fourth one all together how many students are there i think that was the question the fourth one yes all together how many students are there so now total student so total students equals to just add everything all right i'm going to start from one that means that they're, they're asking how many students are there all together right that is this all this all section they are talking okay so that is one plus three plus four plus three plus seven plus one plus four so so now it's going to be one plus three four four plus four eight eight plus three eleven eleven plus seven eighteen eighteen plus one nineteen nineteen and four twenty three you can go from here also you can count here also like four plus one five five plus four nine nine plus three uh twelve twelve plus 1 13 plus 3 16 and 16 and 7 23 all right so all together there were how much 23 students like this we need to solve this cancer problem almost you know all problem you can solve in the three steps just three steps keep in mind all right first you need to write the given information and then in Venn diagram and then solve it all right that's it catch you in the next video with the next problem goodbye